Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raul from Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles, and this week we're gonna do a quick little short video on some changes that I made to the reptile tanks. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's content, and make sure you give the video a big thumbs up because that helps the channel grow, and share with your families and friends and pass the word out. Maybe they may like the content that I also bring. In addition to that, I just did a new intro that just played before I got started. So let me know what you guys think of the intro, whether it's too long. I need to change a couple of things. I'm just playing around with it. Hopefully you guys like it. So in this week's video, we're going to get into Kiwi, my leopard gecko tank, and show you some of the changes that I did to her tank. Stand by and take a look. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the old substrate of Kiwi's tank and be adding some vinyl uh, tile that I've just bought from Lowe's. Honey, let me see that tile real fast so I can show the people what I'm talking about. So basically, uh, we got the white tile. I, I cut it out, it's 24 by 13. I'm gonna have to use two of them. So right now, I'm, let me go ahead and take out the substrate, okay? Stand by. So this is Kiwi's new enclosure. I took out the substrate. My, my uh, daughter wanted me to use white tile. So I put the tile in there, decorated with some fake plants, and there she goes in her little spot she always goes in. She's checking everything out. Things looks, this looks much better. My daughter is very uh, happy with it. Got her water. Need to water. Yeah, clean it up and then put water in there, okay? And then I'll go ahead and we get the mealworms and put some food in there for her. So that way she can eat. She's getting used to her new spot there. Look at her. She's like, what's this? She's so adorable. Some more decorations for her there. So that's the heat high, the heat side where the heating pad is at, and that's the moisture hide there. So as you guys can see, I took out some of the substrate, added the vinyl tile. She seems to like it. I just wanted to cosmetically change it up a little bit. The substrate was making it kind of difficult to constantly just changing it out. It was giving me allergies when I would clean up the tank, so I decided to go with the uh, vinyl tile. If you guys like it, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Now we're going to also get into Khaleesi's tank, my bearded dragon, where she's in a 75-gallon tank. Take a look at the changes that I did to her tank. Take a look.
was a big time multi million dollar heroin dealer. So as you guys can see, the before and after, she used to be on the left side of the tank with the sand on the right side. So I decided to take out the sand because what happens is the sand gives me allergies. So I decided to also just take it out and just leave it with the vinyl tile and change her, um, her basket of rock onto the right side of the tank. I left the basket of rock out first and I just left that little driftwood so she can climb up. It wasn't high enough and she looked like she was a little bit uncomfortable and not used to it so I decided to add the rock back on which allowed her to get higher up and closer to the basket light that I have on the right side there and she seems to be happier so that's it for this week's video I just wanted to do a quick little update on the changes that I did to the reptile tanks and also I got a buddy of mine who has been requesting me to do some updates on the reptiles because I've just been doing videos on my fishes. So I hope you guys like the video. Like I said, don't forget, subscribe to the channel and give a big thumbs up if you guys like the video. And also comment down below because I do like to engage with the followers. So until the next video, God bless. Take care.